remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Lonnie Love, a co-host on The Real Talk Show, fixed her mouth to say, a lot of black men don't know how to have true faithful relationships because of slavery. After she promptly got dragged all over social media and beyond, she turned off her comments like a coward. She later posted a video on her IG stories criticizing an all-male black panel that was on the Isaiah Factor to discuss her comments. I participated in that panel that she called a little panel of men. You see, that comment right there is indicative of her arrogance. And she will get her in moment. I can guarantee you it's coming. It's okay to disagree with every single man that was on that panel. But to be dismissive as if somehow you're superior or their feelings doesn't matter speaks volume as to what type of person she is and how brainwashed and tone deaf she is. So let me give it another shot and talk directly to you, Lonnie Love. In your little video, you told Isaiah, first of all, stick to the topic, how slavery affected the black community. First of all, that was not the topic. The topic of discussion was Joe Budden's excuses for Kevin Hart's cheating. You're the one who went out of your way to make cheating exclusive to the black man. You're a comedian, so I'm sure you can appreciate this. It's funny how you failed to mention that it was your white boyfriend's ancestors who cheated on their white wives and girlfriends with black women and girls and boys and men during slavery. You talked about being body shamed. Perhaps you were, but you put yourself out there. You wanted to smoke, you got it. Understand this, when people come under attack, they have the right to use whatever weapon at their disposal to get you off of them. You're dealing with your body being shamed. Black men every day are dealing with our character being shamed. You said no white people told you to say anything. Come on, Lonnie. You ain't the only one playing the game. Candace Owen, Stephen A., Charles Barkley. When you're black and willing to throw your own people under the bus for a bag, you can say anything and get away with it when your check is being stroked by white folks, as long as it don't cost them no money. Now, you really want to impress me and show me how real you are. Make a sweeping negative generalization about white men or white women and be serious. And watch how fast they get rid of your ass. <laughs> Finally, you suggested why don't Isaiah have a panel of women on his show to discuss the issue. Let me remind you, Lonnie. It was a panel of women on your show, owned by the white woman, who started this whole conversation in the first place, who outright agreed with you or straddled the fence. Isaiah simply presented the other side. Riddle me this. Why is it that white women don't publicly disparage their white men? You know why? Because they're on code. They know how to set aside their differences and their emotions to stay on code. Now, I know you want to be like white women. I know you love emulating them. I know you look up to them like a god. If you really, really want to be like a white woman, you got to get on code. Now, even though 
you made a sweeping generalization of black men. I'm not going to do that to black women. Even though I believe that you are a miserable, self-loathing, angry black woman, I am not going to throw all of those good black women under the bus. To do so would make it harder for the black women that I love to navigate in an already biased society that perpetuates negative stereotypes of black women and girls. And I'm not that big of a fool. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.